Way back in 1999, Linda and Lydia were born conjoined to the abdomen with a common liver. A six-hour operation to separate them happened at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. At the time, crowdfunding was not popular, so it took the financial intervention of then-president, Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings, to separate them. 21 years on, the two girls are living happily ever after. And you're joining me today as we also pray towards the successful separation of the Bansa twins at the Ridge Hospital. Good to see you. Likewise. Likewise. Oh, I like that. Like, did you plan to say this? <laughs> <laughs> did you plan it? No, no you didn't. Please. Okay, so I, I, you are Lin Linda yes, please. and you are Lydia. Yes, please. You are identical twins. Yes, please. Are your parents able to differentiate you? Mommy, mommy yeah. used to differentiate, but sometimes daddy find it difficult. Really? Yes. And how do you feel when daddy struggles to differentiate? Nothing. Do you laugh when he when he calls me Linda, I'll just go like that. I wasn't tell him I'm not Linda. <laughs> <laughs> and then sometimes he calls you Lydia. Yeah, I respond to that. You do. Yeah. But your mom knows the difference. Yes, please. Oh wow. Wow. So you reached out to me, or was it you? Yeah, me. You did. Yes, you please. sent me um, a message on Instagram when you saw the two boys joined at the head. Yes, please. How are you feeling? What made you reach out? Actually, I was really sad. I cried for a while and I'm like, in everything, we give God the glory because if it's not God, we are not alive today. So I just said, God will see them true. And I just decided to send you that, that message because I realized you are the one handling the case and I'm like actually with you so that we also get to meet them and, I, and like encourage their parents, yes. Yeah. So you've seen pictures when you were babies? Yes, please. What comes to mind? How do you feel when you see these pictures? Because you had one, like one tummy. Yeah. Yeah. When you see it, what goes through your head? Um, when we were growing up, that was when they told us the story, the actual story, what happened. Yeah, so when I take our graphic, that's the mirror, and I see us together, I get scared. But some way, somehow, I feel happy too, because we survived it. So when I look at those two babies on the bed, I don't want them to get scared. Even their parents shouldn't get scared. Mommy was scared though, but she was brave. Daddy was scared though, but he was also brave. So when I see those pictures, seriously, I really get scared. I'll be like, oh my God, how did this happen? How did the doctors go through this? And then we are together, we are so strong, beautiful. We don't complain that much. So I just wanted us to meet you so that we meet the twins. If it's a prayer, I'll pray for them, they will survive it. Because some time ago, when I was around 10 years, I always tell myself, I want siblings. I want a brother, I want a sister, that's as Siam means, and then they'll survive it. That I can be like, we were the first, they are the second, so I'll be like, this is my junior brother, this is my junior sister. Yeah, so that's what I really want now. Yeah? Do you feel the same way or you have a different feeling? Um, I, no, I have the same feeling. I just want the best for them. Do people know in school that you are conjoined? In straight doorway by straight to senior high, yeah, that, that one for that place, a lot of people because the mirror came out there and people got to know. But when we transfer to Aquaman, unless maybe we tell you, or maybe the headmaster tells the teachers before they realize, then they act and then we tell them. Yeah, but not the whole school, but for straight a lot of people knew. A lot of people knew. Yes, and what kind of stories did your mother tell you? My mom. Yeah, as you were yeah. growing up. Yeah. yeah, so one time. One time I looked on my belly, I'm like, oh, mom, when is this car going to go? Oh, you have a scar? Yeah. Okay. And then she was like, this car, it wouldn't go, but it would be fading small, small. And I was like, oh, okay. And I, t I told her what happened. And then she, she was like, you, like you, were, you were joined together. Actually, my mother didn't go to school to the highest level, so I didn't want to bother her to explain to me how Siamese are formed. Mm -hmm. So after she told me that when I was growing, in JHS, I, I asked my science teacher. Then he told me small about it, and I'm like, no, I have to get to the bottom of this. Then I reached SHS, I was having this WhatsApp phone. I went to Google and I read about it. I got to realize it's not a mistake. Nobody created it. Like, no, nobody is supposed to say it, it's a case that we are, like, they are formed like this, because actually, mommy told me one story. 
that they were like it it cares how can you give birth to twins that they are joined together and that they should even inject her so that we die i wept i wept for a while seriously i wept for a while and i'm like woo but why why should they kill us so when they came back to her and they were like she should choose one and that definitely one would die and i said she replied to them back if you are saying one would die then take them away and go and kill all because i can't select one so it's like they had to make their effort so that we both survive and i appreciate my mom very well for that so i'm like it's not a case it's not a case if you if you understand science very well and you study science it's like they are formed in one egg and they are supposed to separate individual but as a time go on they don't separate and then time is due there's no way they are going to separate so it's no one's fault it's not daddy's fault it's not mommy's fault there's there's no one to be blaming mommy or daddy here so that's why i want to tell the world that if you find yourself in that situation family members come around they'll be like how they'll be criticizing criticizing the mother criticizing the father no it's not it's not like that i'm not expecting anybody to do that we just have to hope for the best and we are just on god yeah wow you can talk <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was thinking that you were the quiet one <laughs> You can really talk. And you, your mom told you the story as well. Yeah. So she sat both of you down yeah. and yes. she narrated the story. Yeah, she said we shouldn't, we shouldn't feel bad. If somebody tells us we are, we are cursed children, it's not, it's not, it's not but that But has really. anybody said that to you before? Um, no, no, I don't remember, no. no. Mm. Nobody. Yeah. I mean, you're you beautiful, sweet twins. Thank Everyone you. Everyone will love the two of you. Thank yeah. you. All right. Now, so you saw the picture of the, the boys. Yeah. Before that, you went to meet um, former President Rawlings yes, please. to say thank you to him yes, because please. he paid for the surgery. Yes. Do you remember exactly how much? Did anybody tell you how much um, the cost of that surgery was? No, please. We actually don't know the you amount. You don't know the amount. Yes. Okay, but he paid for it. Yes, yes. How, how did that make you feel going to meet the late President Rawlings? When we were told he was the one that paid for our surgery, Actually, I really thank God for his life. I was so happy. So I told my auntie, my uncles, I told family members, we really have to appreciate that man because he did the best for us. If it weren't him, maybe we would have been in the hospital, doctors get fed up and then we just die. So we just went ahead, we got a frame, we got some small gifts for him because we weren't having much. Then we got there. When we got there, he was so excited because was, he hadn't seen you since. Yes, I was also so excited. I was happy. I was like, oh my God, I finally met the one that saved my life. Yeah. So he hugged me. I hugged him back. I felt like crying. He was like, cried. Mm -hmm. I just felt like crying. Sometimes my spiritual father always tell me, sometimes if you want to cry, just bring it out. So I just cried. I was just like, thank you, daddy. I don't know what to say. I have nothing to give you. But I will just pray to God that you live a long life. Because you feel it that much and I and my twin sister are alive. If it wasn't you, we, weren't, we, we are not going to be in school. We are not going to be with friends. We are not going to be with family. We are not going to get love from anybody. He was really happy, seriously. He had that so much. When I heard he was dead, actually, he promised that we should go back home, get medical treatment, and come back to him. But seriously, things are really hard. So we couldn't. So it was delaying. So before I realized, I was in the house one afternoon and a news popped up on the TV that he was dead. I told my sister, this can't be because he really want to help us. He really want to take us to school. So now that he's dead, what's going to happen to us? I cried. She was like, cried. I kept telling mommy, it's not possible. We have to go there. Maybe the doctors can do something about it. He can't die. He can't die. God won't do this to us. We've suffered a lot. We've really suffered. And I, I, was, I was so sad. I was down. So it came to a time I have to accept the fact that he was gone. And then I told God, everything is in his will. His will must just be done in our life. Maybe it's not true, the president. He only came in the picture when we were born. So if he's gone, he should just find another way out. Because life has been hell. Life has really been hell for us, Auntie Abba. So I just pray to God that he's so rest in peace and I love him so much. One day I will up 
appreciate him in a way that he will, wherever he is, he will, he will be so proud of I and my twin sister. I will never let him down for saving our life. Please. When you say you've been through a lot, what exactly do you mean? Uh, About actually, education. Education, education yeah. Mm -hmm. When we completed SHS. When did you complete? 2019. Okay. During my English paper, I had the doctors told our parents naturally this this one thing in our stomach. It it will rise and when it rise they have to bring us back. So when it was final year, I don't know how it came about. I was just at the hospital. I couldn't write my paper, English paper. So since that they had to carry me from the hospital to the school. And seeing that my twister could even we left her paper and came to me on the bed, we had we filled that paper and marched to me. So up to now, when we finished, Daddy was like, he'll try his best so that we, we write. But Daddy don't go to work, they don't call them to work. My mother doesn't work. And Daddy's salary don't even reach 500 to say we are registering for an update or we'll go rewrite. So we have been in the house since 2019. Then I'm like, since the, these boys, they've given birth to these boys, so they'll find a way out. So I was there. I have this friend, he's in Winneba. I call him Daniel, but he's Kennedy. He was like, Abena, since daddy is suffering, let's find a way out. Let's do this. You know, Nana, but I said, yes, I love her so much, and I've been following her. Can you help me? She was like, do you have Instagram? I'm like, no. He was like, okay, I'll help you. Then she was, he was giving the directions to WhatsApp. I was doing it myself. I was like, okay, I've seen it. I'll write something to her. And she was like, sure. He helped me. And I appreciate him so much, wherever he is. He's a friend. He's at Winnie Bar right now. It's last year. So you want to go back to school? You want to write your papers? Yes, I really... With English and maths. Yeah. 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 And first, first, I wanted to be a surgeon because of our situation or a nurse. Anything about medical. But I don't know, ever since I started following you, I'm like, why don't I divert to journalism? No, okay. <laughs> let's, stay with, let's stay with medicine and nursing and all of that, okay? okay. Uh, I think you should, you should follow your, your passion, your dream. That's where you want to clean your... Yeah, okay. You can always write your English and maths. Is it too late to register? No, please. It's not too late to register. Please, please. Okay, so you can go ahead and register. Okay? Thank you. We will take care of it. The bill for that. Okay. Yes, please. Make sure you pass. Yes, please. You will pass, right? Yes. I trust the two of you to pass. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Umbane kasa no moka se eh eni se yang kwa for dream se e ye no me be na a tu be in tina um ya wo mosa. Wo wo mo no wo mo bae na nkofo ekekan nyo masa a chero nkofo kan e o mo se o ba kokra de o de didi atam eh eh se yesu ban yesu ban ti ena nyame adumi ye su ban be no no madam enim eh na ye nyina hai da wo e fie ba ku nti lag be ho asem ana o de didi yatam se eh ye ye yesu ban ti ena nyame a kesi ya ya wonta fo ama wo mu abom obin mo kra de ne pa be mie no e ba ko kra de o ka kire mi se e mi nka kire doctors fo no na na o mu bon nkwara ne pa ne no mu wu na e ba sa e government no wo se ke bia e o mu di be maye o ba ko nso se mi nfa nkwara no enche gana government no na o meti na o na ise doctor sino o mesu ensu ni ama fra o is a lot of eh in semo a o mo ka nti isa se mo ni pa de e ngwa for kai ah we are going to go to the rich hospital uh, the twins are expecting you i spoke okay. to their mom this morning she's happy to uh, have you around so okay. you're going to go there now you can try and carry the the twins okay okay, okay.
Are you crying? No, we are not here to cry. I'm just happy. I'm, I'm happy. They are really strong, you know. With us, there were so many things on us, like something like that. But they cut the time, stuff. But, but this one is like really strong. Thing.